Let's now take our case study where it stands and add some pretty formatting to it. So this is how our spreadsheet looks right now. Pretty bland. Lots of numbers. All the numbers are correct but very bland and maybe a little difficult to read and make sense of. So let's improve it. Okay, let's make this easier to read. Okay, so first again I'll take a look at it uh, little by little. First thing we want to do is to add a title to it. Okay, so what we would like to do when we add a title is we want to have something like, uh, you know, some title, profit forecasting for ABC Inc. or whatever it is. And typically we would want that to be centered across the entire table. Okay, so to do that, what we want to do is to first merge all these cells and make them into one single cell. Right, so you can do that in Excel. It's not as if you've got to use the cells that Excel provides you. You can actually merge several cells, make them into a single cell. So to do that, first select the range A1 to F1. So select the entire range, which is, let's say, click in A1 and then drag up to F1 or click in A1 and then hold the shift key down and then click in F1. So you select the entire range. And then if you've got your home tab uh, active or make the home tab active and then click on the merge and center button okay so there's a button that says merge and center now sometimes you may not be able to see the text on the button but if you just hover your cursor over a button then it will show you what the button does so for example I don't have our spreadsheet active but I'm just going to go into Excel uh, I'm going to open recent spreadsheet some spreadsheet doesn't matter I'm just opening some spreadsheet okay so here notice this button here merge and center so for example uh, suppose I select this range of cells and then I click merge and center then look what happened all of these together became one single cell and the content of the cell is now centered as you can see this is highlighted Okay, so that's what you can do. Sometimes what will happen is if your window is very small, right, then the button has now got collapsed and you're only seeing the icon, you're not seeing the text on the button. So if you just hover your cursor over a button, immediately the purpose of the button shows up. So for example, any button, the moment you hover over it, it tells you what the button does. Okay, so that's really what we want to do here. So that's what I said. Select the entire range, click Merge and Center in the Home tab, okay, and then enter Projected Income Statement for ABC Inc. That's the title of our spreadsheet here. Okay, and because it's centered, all of this Projected Income Statement for ABC Inc. will appear centered across this entire region. Okay, then of course with that cell selected and again still remaining in the home tab you can change the font and increase the size to make the title prominent okay this you know how to do changing the font and so on so once the cell is selected you can go up top so for example again uh, if I have the cell selected I can go here change the font to whatever I like uh, I'm showing it to you on a Mac, but it'll be similar on Windows. And then again, with this selected, I can change the font size to whatever I want. Okay, so you can apply whatever font and whatever font size appeals to you. So once you have done that, your spreadsheet might look like this. Okay, I selected uh, the font which is uh, Arial Bold. Okay, so of course, it's showing Calibri body because that's not the selected cell. The current cell is something else. But if I had selected this cell, it would have said that this is Arial Bold. Doesn't matter. You can choose the same or you can choose something else that's just prominent and stands out. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. So the next thing we want to do is to take a look at our assumptions area. Okay, now what we want to do is to distinguish between the actual data and the assumptions. Just so that visually you know that oh this is something else this is uh, something different we just want to show that right so what we want to do is to highlight our assumptions area so to do that again what we can do is simply uh, 
you know click on the cell that contains the text assumption right and you know select the entire range which is this range which is H2 to I2 select the whole range and again center it across the selection the merge and center option and change the font make it nice and big okay so that's does this part and for the rest of the part select the rest of the region containing all the assumptions select the whole region and change the fill color by using the paint icon in the home tab in other words select this whole region and then here I'm just going to increase this so you see here if I go to the home tab you should see a paint icon here okay and that's the fill color so you can drop this down select whatever color you like fill color you like and that will change the fill color to to that okay so that's that's how you get this background color uh, of the cell to be something other than the default of white okay so now our spreadsheet is going to look like this so now what we want to do is this region is all correct but the moment you have lots of numbers makes things very difficult to read so you could just make it a little more user friendly by using the same idea of selecting a range and changing the fill color and change select colors that make it look somewhat better so for example all the blank lines I changed the color there to something else uh, to you know I used one color for all the blank lines and then for the remaining things I chose a certain background color I chose happened to choose the same background color as what I chose here but you know you're free to choose something else and then I just gave some color to all the years some background color again you can do what you like but having some amount of contrast just makes things a little easier on the eye and again the profit I just selected the whole uh, row and I just bolded the text there okay if you think it's important you could make the text font size bigger and so on okay so that's what makes the entire spreadsheet a little easy on the eye it's not difficult to get uh, fairly user-friendly and fairly pretty looking spreadsheets okay so just use your imagination to make it look pretty of course you may not believe that what I have done looks pretty perfectly fine we have different aesthetic uh, sense sensibilities so that's fine do whatever you think is pretty and makes things easy to read but uh, just keep in mind that generally contrast is an important characteristic when people are looking at things so when there's a lot of contrast between different items you know that they mean very different things and that is actually useful from a readers point of view okay so format your spreadsheet make it easy to read okay that completes almost everything we wanted to do with this case study uh, your final spreadsheet looks like this now the next thing we want to do is to explore another feature of Excel and this is a feature called goal seek I'll explain the detail details of that later on and in order to illustrate goal seek what I'm going to do is to continue this case study forward okay so we're not finished with this case study we'll use this case study to go forward with goal goal seek so what I recommend once again is take your spreadsheet as it stood at the end of the previous lecture and do all the work we did in this particular module and bring your spreadsheet up to this point where it looks something like this right it may look a little different because you may have formatted things differently but effectively the numbers should be identical to what you're seeing here okay so complete that and then continue on to the next video which talks about goal seek